This is a frightening and a tragic situation. I've been briefed by the Provincial Security Advisor um, and what I want people to know is that uh, all levels of government and police services are working together. So the, uh, the OPP and the RCMP and the uh, Toronto Police Service, all levels are working together and the information is flowing be among those, uh, those organizations. We are all unsettled and, uh, and very disturbed by a situation like this. I think it's impossible not to be. It's frightening and, uh, and you know, we, we, have to, we have to rely on the people who are trained who can make sure that information is available as it, uh, as it needs to be and that, that the precautionary measures are taken here in the city and around the the in the Mr. Speaker, I trust I speak for all parliamentarians when I say that our thoughts and prayers are with those victims of the recent tragic situation that's unfolding in Toronto uh, right now. I wonder if the Prime Minister will join me in sending our best wishes to the community uh, impacted and update the House as to any information that he may be able to share as this situation unfolds. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I thank the Leader of the Opposition for his uh, question and concern. Our thoughts are obviously with those affected by this incident. We are still gathering information and as soon as we can we will share more information with Canadians.